how much does that affect your choices about where to go with storylines and casting? Not at all, not one bit. Uh, I think Americans in particular would feel patronized if we did that. I would be appalled if uh, the makers of, I don't know, The West Wing or Breaking Bad decided to put in a, a British character to appeal to me. I think the American fans of the show want it to be what it is. Yeah. And anyway, I wouldn't even know how to make it appeal to a British audience. I just know how to make it appeal to me. Right? So that's what we do. We make the show that appeals to us. And believe me, if you've just seen us watching that trailer, you'd know how much it does appeal to us. <laughs> 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 I would cut all you love that shit. Thank you. Uh, to Arthur and Karen, why are you leaving the series? Well, um, <laughs> because, because it seems like the right time. Yeah. Yeah, we've known for a while. We all sat down with mm. you guys about like, a year and a half ago. Mm. You know, and it came out of a discussion. It was like, you know, how yeah. long? How long should we stay for? And there's nothing worse than that staying in welcome. And, you know, we've had the most incredible time. Really yeah. well, we've had a nice run at it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Longest nice run in the band. Yeah. 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 So that's good. Yeah. And like, you know, it's it's a strange thing. It'll be really sad and really but also we know we you know we can read through for the episode that we're leaving the last time. And it's, it's, it's it's gonna be an amazing piece of television and it's you know that's what we're so Wanted to be involved in it in the first place. It just feels like the right time to kind of to go. Are you pleased with your exit scenes? Oh my god! Yeah. I'm so pleased. <laughs> I just hope that I can do it well. <laughs> when do you actually film the last scene? Yeah, no, I have no idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's not done in, in chronological order either, so it might just be something really boring on the green screen or something for our last scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, but that is the block we're doing now. Yeah, yeah. It's the block we're doing no. at the episode one, episode five. Mm -hmm. Um, no, no, it's, it's, they've become, you know, two of my closest friends. Um, and uh, I, 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 first and foremost, I miss the creative relationship because it's it's brilliant. We know how to press each other's buttons. And um, as friends, we get on really well. So I'm, it's just, it's hard to explain. You'll just miss, whenever one of us is bored on set, we find one of the other two and irritate each other and, and to find, to be able to, to sort of be comfortable enough to do that is yeah. rare, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm slightly worried about going to other things just in terms of the, 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 the way we've been interacting yeah. with each other and we know how to kind of keep each other entertained. I think if we started doing that, we'd give another job. We think we're weird. Mental. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Am I the only one who enjoys using the microphone? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to use it. It's really, it's just, just quite, quite, just getting a bit too close. It's quite satisfying. <laughs> As you'll still be filming in July, the church is any over Comic Con and all this this year. There is definitely a trip to Comic Con. Yeah, we're all we're, we're all really excited. We're, 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 we're all going. We're all going. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got a quick question for Arthur and Karen. Um, do you think you'd be attracted to sci-fi again in the future, or is this it for you? Oh, I definitely love to do more sci-fi. Yeah. It's really fun. With having done the best thing. Kind of hard to know what, what, what it would be. It's not so much the monsters. Yeah, and it, I would be an alien, yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah, it's, yeah. Come on, you and the Daleks. Come on, you the Daleks. Come on, you This is to Stephen. Um, you got asked earlier about how the pressures of creating content that might appeal to an American audience, but Seeing as Doctor Who is now so based in Cardiff and there's such a, a Welsh kind of identity to it, do you feel perhaps a little bit of pressure to include shots of Cardiff or elements to film in your Look, I mean, we don't have pressure to include shots of Cardiff. We film it here, right? <laughs> I mean, there isn't a lot of choice. Just about every shot you see in Doctor Who has got an element of Cardiff. But do you feel there'd be a big backlash if you didn't do that? A big backlash uh, if we didn't. From the uh, fans, if you want to. Suddenly, if we didn't card it, we're moving to America now. We're not going to film the card anymore. Oh, you mean we? Well, what? We naturally. It's we, a BBC World show. It's a BBC World show. I mean, uh, uh, we don't. At the same time, we're not gratuitously including card. That'd be patronising. It's a great place to film. There are fantastic locations here, and the people to work with are wonderful. So uh, we like doing that, but there's, there's no pressure from anyone to make it a show largely set in Wales. It's a show largely made in Wales. That's my guess. Yeah. Well,
love working with us very, very much. I have a question for all of you. What have you thought about today? Brilliant. Yeah. So yeah. Brilliant. It's um, I think you know, it, 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 uh, we've done a couple of these in America, just because things like Comic Con and stuff. Um, and I think it's um, it's a shame we don't get to do them in England in the same way. And I think uh, just having met people and stuff, you know, people seem really enthused, and yeah. I think that's the point of it when you yeah. when you get to meet the fans, you know. So, and what, you know, what, we just showed the trailer there. And just, I, I mean, just seeing everybody's reactions was just <laughs> extraordinary. But it's that thing, we all work so hard that the, the days that you get to hang out with the fans, particularly here in the Millennium Centre, which has just been really special, yeah. just, it kind of really counts, you know, because you spend so much time shooting mad long hours. Um, you do forget, you forget like, how much people love it. Yeah. Yeah. People do actually want to. We're, we're just kind of there working, kind of concentrating on trying to make it the best that it can be. And then you step out of something like this and you see people's reactions. It's, it's, it's kind of odd to, to kind of see it from the other, the other side, but, mm. but brilliant and it's great to kind of see the reactions that we've just seen. Mm -hmm. Have you got any plans for any more spin up shows? And what need to occupy our many spare hours? It's a bad time now. Currently, not, not, not against it, but you know, uh, spin off shows happen because you think that is so good we should, we should spin that off. Uh, but uh, I'm uh, personally relatively busy. Uh, it would be, I'm not looking for a flippered series actively, but you never know. Sunday nights, I'm sure you yeah, yeah. But you never know. Is there anything you can share with us on series 7? Any bits of news or information? Well, everybody else except you lots all the trade. He will ask anyone out there. Uh, yeah. We were sitting in a room looking at some empty chip. Come see our next session and see the new trailer. See the new trailer will be the best thing, but uh, it's. Well, you, you, you know the headlines, Amy and Rory leaving, uh, tragedy, heartbreak, and a western. Uh, what more do you want to tell you? Daleks. Yeah, and Daleks, yeah. Come on, don't take that off. Do I smell a crossover? We're going to see a Dalek. Just see a Dalek. And then Hugh, and then just kills Hugh him. could yeah. sort of turn into a pirate for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Well, do you know, now that I've realised I do have this power, <laughs> that I, I don't know, I mean, turbans, anything. Yeah. Unicorn horns. Unicorn horns. Yeah. Maybe people are just. Uh, Giant clown shoes, I think, <laughs> uh, for girls. Uh, comedy ears. With the amount of chin gags, like I'm surprised people don't start coming in with prosthetic chins on. <laughs> Suggest I always assumed you did. <laughs> <laughs> One more. <laughs> uh, I have a question for Arthur. Um, I saw a film with you in a few. Months ago, uh, Pelican Blood. Oh yeah, yeah, it was a great film. It was me. Yeah. Um, are you? Are you? Is that something that you want to do again? Make more films? Yeah, or, yeah definitely. Yeah. I love, I love um, films. It's the closest thing to film this actually. Is doing films. Kind of, yeah, um, I'd love to do some more kind of independent films. Yeah. Sort of, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I have a quick question for Karen. Um, mm -hmm. I've heard that you're starring in a Scottish film called Not, Not Another Happy Ending. Yes. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about going from starring in shows in Wales and England and going back to Scotland and acting there? I think I'm really looking forward to it. It's good that stuff's being made up there that isn't about like drug use or um, <laughs> like fighting the English. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. It's not too late. One more drug. <laughs> so um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. In uh, Glasgow, it's going to be. I just ask Matt, how do you feel about kind of moving on without these two, if you are all such good buddies? You got us a build up here? Well, you know, all good things come to an end, and, and uh, I'm very excited for my friends to go on to pastures new. And, and I think the only the only thing that you can do with Doctor Who is is go with change, because otherwise it leaves you behind. So we embrace the future and we look forward to to Jenna. But uh, I, I will never forget my, my time with Karen Arthur. It's been very special. Without sort of sounding too earnest, you sound like you were sound. I thought that a lot today. Yeah, I should have been like, yeah, you know, I'm just an actor, and I'm like, well. Oh. <laughs> 
really hard, actually. Yeah, but I, I will miss them, I really will, because they make me laugh and they're silly. And I can take the piss out of them. I'll be phoning you when I'm on the beach and you're in where. Oh, I know. Definitely. And I'll be like, how's life in series one of the old people? No, anyway, sorry. <laughs> Elaborate on the series 7 break or not break. We've got six episodes this year and eight next. Yeah. Is there going to be a break at Christmas or is it just going to be continuous? Uh, scheduling decisions are always up in the air. Anything I told you today would be constantly on, as you know, until the radio times is imminent. Uh, it's, not, it's not true, so I'm not, I could not really know. But I mean, it's essentially it will straddle, it will straddle Christmas. It will be like six this year and eight next year. Not a lot of elaboration, except it'll be fantastic. Ooh. I don't think it's <laughs> yes. I know you won't tell us much about the new companion, but can you at least tell us if she's in costume in the publicity photo that was just released, or is that just publicity in the uh, that, that, that's, oh, that's her own thing. Okay. Um, David Tennant this week said that he'd be really up for being in the 50th anniversary celebrations. Have you got any plans to include past doctors and past companions? Nothing for me. It's like a door being slammed. The face is this. Stephen, have you ever been tempted to write yourself a cameo? No. I would love that. Oh god, let's turn that out there. Uh, I know where my talents end, and uh, actually, I, I did once uh, play a, a, a role in the background of an episode of Press Gang, a children's show I used to do years ago. I hated it. I hated people coming up, fussing about their makeup, and then saying, "No, you have to stand over there again." And they did the shot again and again. And it was really boring. So now what I do is inflicting that on other people <laughs> in as many uncomfortable and amusing ways as I can. <laughs> I was really terrible. Good at stage directions, I can read those really fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the feat. In the next series, are there any plans to do one of those sort of more light-hearted, slightly sillier episodes, or are they all going to be more dramatic? Because uh, Doctor Who's never seen Yeah, we've, we've, no. we've been avoiding that light-hearted <laughs> series. <laughs> uh, the man in the bow tie who lives in the phone box to save the universe. <laughs> um, uh, it, there's a full range. We have really said we, we've got everything. I think Jenny was saying in the in the, uh, uh, in the, in the five you're about to uh, see uh, that we mostly focus on at the moment. It'd be everything from utter heartbreaking tragedy to knockabout silly fun. I mean, really, and sometimes within minutes of each other. I, I don't think Doctor Who has ever Doctor Who is only one thing at a time. Mm. It has to just keep just keep surprising you. Uh, I think the changes in tone mm. are, are so far. I like to think so sure. But so you'll get everything. But if you're laughing and saying, oh, this is so silly, expect to be crying in five minutes. Thank you. Isn't life like that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll take a few more questions. So, get them in now. Uh, this is the whole panel. If the TARDIS turned up right now and you got one trip, where would you go? Mm -hmm. I would go really far into the future and um, see how we've evolved. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I see you liked it. I yeah. don't fancy any of that. <laughs> no, because like we might look different, you know, and develop like strange, like a, a new feature or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well you don't know what we'll need. Okay, well, just your thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> we have massive thumbs that become really strong from texting. I think I'd just be relieved that I'd never, ever have to remember to record something in the telly again because I'm your own time machine. Forget my plan. Yeah, you can just see anything. Um, I, I always say that I go back to um, to see the gig on the top of Apple Studios to see the Beatles play. I should probably come up with a different answer. Yeah. I said that a lot. I said that. I said the same one a lot as well. I'm trying to think. Well, that's a good answer. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that is probably what I would do. But I've said it a lot. I'd come with you. Yeah, we could do that together. Yeah. 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 Well, you've never had to answer this one, have you? Oh yes. Yeah, so your first go. Hey. <laughs> November the 23rd, 1963. <gasps> what happened? Well. <laughs> and she is leaving. <laughs> <laughs> History began. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, let's take one more question <laughs> for guys. Here's the last question. William Russell is still going to conventions 50 years on. Do you think you'll still be going to talk to conventions in 2060? Gosh, I don't know. It depends on the financial constraints of my life at the time. No, 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 no. I mean, who knows? It's like hounds a piece of string, but uh, this is a good start, I think, yeah. and Comic Con, and I enjoy them, you know, I enjoy meeting everyone. But, uh, we'll go, but Stephen will be 100 then. I'll be in a motorised urn. <laughs> 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 frozen, still shouting at people. <laughs> 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 That's amazing. <laughs> and are you staying on for the next series, Stephen? Yeah. <laughs> In case you're not on it. Okay, I think that's a good time to end. <laughs> um, Thank you, everyone. Show your appreciation Thank you. Guys.